Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. My name is Sia. Today I will be talking about the I want to talk about the way I don't even really know where to start from, but I really find this as something strange to be precise because uh if you look at Ghana, if you watch the video you've seen I've posted pictures of some airlines I knew are currently operating in Africa. We talk of the Sudanese airline, the South Sudan airline. That's a new airline. We have Togo airline, we have Ethiopian airline, Kenyan airlines, yeah. The best. I like Kenyan airlines. Ethiopian airlines. And if you go to the Airports, Ada Hydro, Ada Gatwick, any other airport, the last airport, name them. You will see uh, some of these African airlines with their symbols indicating on the sign board that shows they are in operation. It's existing, it's working. But if you go to Ghana or any of the airlines I mentioned, you can't find any Ghana airline symbol over there. So it tells you our airlines are not working and we all knew. And where can we start the blame? I think it is only the two most wasted political parties we have in Ghana, the NPC and then the, and then the NPP. These are two most waste, wasteful parties we have in Ghana, we have not been able to uh, help the ordinary Ghanaian or even help in the entire country as well. Let's look at the number of tourists that always visit Ghana almost every holidays. Let's look at the number of Ghanaians abroad who are, let me say, almost every now and then traveling from different continent to, to Ghana those from the European continent, Asia, America, mentioned the majority of our citizens are living outside the country, apart from the foreigners who will be traveling from their destination to Ghana. A lot of Ghanaians who are also traveling back and forth from Ghana to various destinations. You've seen other, other countries or other national airlines generating monies to other countries. We talk of Delta Airlines, we talk of named most of the airlines, the Dutch Airlines, the German Airlines, Italian, all of them are operating in Ghana. Ghanaian citizens are using them. All our monies are going there. Government officials, the president of the Republic of Ghana renting aircraft belonging to other countries on his official duty. So it tells you say young politicians you now the NDC and the NPP Muni or Man or saying say Rollins era the Ghana Air which no airport yeah force by what you no leadership it's excellent the late at this came he couldn't revive the Ghana Airways President Kufo could not revive the Ghana Airways Rollins couldn't do it. President Mahama, ex-president Mahama couldn't do it. And the current president Anado is on his final year or his final term. He was there before he even came. He knew that Ghana Airways was not working. But he came almost nine years now. He also not been able to revive Ghana Airways. So it means the leadership of the LPP and NDC, these two parties, they don't think about northern Ghanaians like me and you. They can go and pay high money, use other countries' aircraft, but who be to me a crack of farm? So super air lights, no, with high class. No, no. So why don't they bring Ghana Airways back? At least you can come up with and call Jeep Labour. You have about to see Canada for you. You have about to see Europe for you. Now you have America for you. You have about Asia for you. You have about Ghana is not really easy to pay attention. Now, you have to say, Ghana for you, say, for you to be in this country, you can't be in this country. It's a hot kick, play a hot kick. 
But because of said the two political parties now, they need many more They don't care. They don't care about whatever happened. Either we have a national career or not. They don't care. It will also bring employment opportunities for 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 for, for Ghanaians. Look at so we share Ethiopian Airlines, for instance, Kenyan Airlines. We have beautiful Kenyan ladies, beautiful Ethiopian ladies, sir. Yeah, yeah, employ them. Now, I'm more yet more. I host some more yet more play. Imagine, say, Ghana, we have our national airlines, we having beautiful Ashanti ladies, beautiful fair ladies from the Volta region, black beauty ladies from the western region, Zamaho, going to the north, so you have a north and tall girls. I'm offer for beautiful ladies from the north. You go to the brown half of beautiful ladies. When they assemble them during Ghana's most beautiful, I can attest to that we have beautiful ladies in Ghana. Imagine we've been able to assemble all these ladies as our air hostess in almost all the airlines in Ghana, you know, and almost several years to Madden Brown. In terms of tourism, in terms of everything, we are on course. We can bring more money into the country. But all these monies, we are wasting them. All the money are going to different people's coffers because we don't have a national airline. What is preventing Ghana from having our own airlines? That is the question I want to ask the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Dudakwa, and the Vice President, Mahmoudou Bahoumiya, who want to continue as Ghana's next president. Mr. Vice President, Mr. Degetama. So, if we have our national airlines in Ghana, can't we manage it as Ghanaians? Can't we manage our own national airlines? We have Ghanaian pilots using other countries or other people's uh, airlines to do their business or working for other companies or other companies. Can't we do that? We can do it. It's all about wickedness. I'm running by you know, my imagery as such as a man, the informer, whatever the country. You don't, you don't care. But this time, we enter us. We will also make sure say that the sabbe come on. They be bomb a chi. They be more pressure, no. They be more enter us for free. They be more mismanage. My energy cars. I. We got no parliament. The parliamentarian. We got no parliament. But sabbe ban muka. And this sabbe for so every ordinary Ghana. Apart from the coaches, you are the parliament. No, we got no one. Now no budget here, but to be to be, sir, just did this, ah, you will not so be a more parliamentary, you can see, what they brought my. And I was watching YouTube, Namu Tamale, nice airport. Imagine we have an international airport at Tamale. So, so, we'll be free Tamale, not be quite brutal, America. Tamale, who are no offer play on my craft. We'll be free Kumasi, we need a, an international airport, oh, Kumasi, so they don't need to travel the way from Kumasi, as I know, before play on my Brought a friend say to go to Arugin, they have an international uh, a friend say airport. Oh, oh, oh. So coming to Accra, no, uh, along this time, you know, it's a small flight, or by US, or call Canada, or call Baby, or Bekovia, Brazil, whatever, South Africa, we are connected to the Honomo. It's a very much crack, crack, congestion, not perform. This is common sense. It will ease congestion on the capital because nobody will travel all the way from the northern region before they come to Accra to board a plane to any destination they want to go. You see, so Montreal will best Nagana Airways. Let's bring it back. Let's bring Ghana Airways back. And the um, uh, 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 forms of employment, we bring forms of employment, tourism, everything. I was watching a lady in a one of uh, YouTube videos. And this country, the Badas, they have a very beautiful place, a tourist destination. The name was Accra. Accra Beach in the Badas. I just said, it can have tourism. Now you boost to know. You boost to know. Now you are my car. Now you have to feel a beach. You have to clean your camera. If you be any beach, you have to be in the day. Now you want to be in the day. You have more man. Now you have to be in the day. Every Ghanaian would love to stay in Ghana and tell me that the country's system is working, everything is good. But because the system is not working 24 7, that is why people always want to travel outside. If somebody is a pilot, if somebody wants to become an air hostess, but not Ghana, not me, unless she or he travel outside the country for between Kenya, Nigeria, Rwanda, Sudan, I said, Kenya, what do you call it? Uh, 
speak and I say they suit. So members of parliament, we don't know what you guys are doing over there. Please bring back Ghana Airways. We need our airlines back. We need it back. Never see Cameroon. Imagine you are in the, the Ghana Airways flight. Na Ghana Jollof yom ni Nigeria for kum to go. Na bro free grant the Ghana Airlines we no more enjoy our nice Jollof free to Africa kra fufu kakra banku kakra body ampesi kakra apa prasa kakra my goodness don't you love to be with the Ghana Airways crew all the time because of the traditional local food that you bring in Naka it comes with uh, what they like uh, alcoholic yeah you want to be Ghana Guinness kakra wo bia kakra and se fufu kakra puto kakra wo your airlines mu apetesi kakra wo your airlines mu tamu pele kwa Yes, you are Ghana local agent. Yeah, you are pretty sick. Accra. Just say, me say the cabro phone. Ebe patronize the airlines. Nanke ama flight ibo. Aye fufu fufu accra. Cabro phone two thousand, three thousand five hundred abag Ghana. Yeah, ne bi eight hundred dollars bi. So I just say, ne atisu. Nama Ghana for especially for your Ghanaian. Your rate we should go down. Be a Ghana ni a Ghana citizen. Ghana citizen. I will pay no. Your special rate. Mr. President, this is to you. Before you leave office, please do what you can to at least start. Let's see. We are bringing Ghana Airways back. Let's see action. Let's see action. Mr. Degetama, you and your president, please, you want to see the Ghana Airways coming back. You guys have done a lot. You see, you said, my lot of stadiums, a lot of astro a lot of rules. A lot, but we still need the Ghana Airlines. And this is not the last time I'm and I say I'll be talking about this Ghana Airlines. I will continue to push to push to push until we finally bring our Ghana Airways back to Manta. My name is Shaw's name Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Asante Sana.